7 News. Hey everybody, we want to tackle a very important topic as the pandemic continues and we think about women's health in particular, the issue of breast cancer and breast cancer screenings. So we brought in our 7 News medical consultant, Dr. Cedric McFadden, and he's with us to talk a little bit about what we should be doing in a pandemic. I mean, we have gotten to the point where the healthcare facilities, Dr. C, have, have kind of caught up with the situation and you can go and get your screenings, right? Yes, breast screening is safe. You should be getting those tests. Uh, but we saw initially with the pandemic that there was a decrease in the number of those screening tests done. I mean, let's think about it. Breast cancer screening is an up, it's a close and personal process. And as such, many were concerned about the proximity of the people performing the test and the people needing to get the test. So there were lots of policies put in place to actually try to mitigate some of that risk. Uh, but we never saw that people with breast cancer weren't being treated. We, people still received chemotherapy, but we did see a decreased number of people who were actually getting screened. And that's important, right? I've worked on a number of events in our various communities over the years, you know, trying to encourage women to get screened. If you delay the screening and put it off too long, you really can lose valuable time. That is the big concern because breast cancer, uh, you want to have an earlier diagnosis. Treatment options get a little bit more complicated the more advanced the tumors are. It can spread to the lymph nodes and other parts of the body. Uh, there's actually been research re recently presented in Europe on this very topic that suggested that due to the pandemic, we could be seeing an increase in the proportion of women who die from breast cancer. However, in that same study, they come back and they say that if we can go back and find those same women who would have gotten screening that delayed it or didn't have it because of the pandemic, we may lower that risk, even if their age has gotten or they've aged out of the normal screening protocol. And that brings us to an important question, right? When should you begin the screenings and how often do you get them? So that question could be a little bit complicated because the different societies have different recommendations. But on average, most will recommend that we start having these conversations with our patients beginning at the age of 40. Certainly black, Asian, and Hispanic women should begin screening at the age of 40 because in those demographics, there are more cases of early breast cancer, meaning they're diagnosed in their 30s or perhaps even in their 20s. So that's when they should begin screening. But all others should certainly by the age 40 to 45 begin screening and perhaps in that screening at the age of 75. Those screening tests should be done at least every year or every other year, depending on the risk of the patient. Who's high risk and should they be screened more often? So your screening risk may be due to several factors. It may be due to genetic factors, such as your family history. If your mom had breast cancer or if there's a family history of one of those mutated genes, that can certainly increase that risk. But also there may be risk related to reproduction. Have you had children? At what age did you have that child? Did you breastfeed? Those things may increase or decrease depending on the answers to those questions. There may also be environmental risk. For women who've had prior exposure or radiation to their chest, perhaps they've had certain cancers when they were really young, that could increase their risk of breast cancer. And finally, there are risk factors related to our lifestyle or our person, meaning if we exercise, if we're not obese, if you've had um, alcohol in the, or, or smoking or diets high in fats, those things can also increase your risk of breast cancer. So it is an individual by individual basis. Well, we appreciate the information, Dr. Cedric McFadden. Thank you. Thank you. And a really important footnote that we want to tell you about, Ben. The uh, doctor wanted us to remind everybody, if you did have a screening canceled during the pandemic, this is a really good time to go ahead and make sure you reschedule. And just quickly, congratulations to you and Dr. C for graduating from the Riley Institute. That's right, we were part of the Diversity Leadership Institute and they yeah. graduated a whole bunch of us today. And it was really uh, an honor to be part of the program. Just wanted to get that congratulations in Thank there. Thank you. Coming up on Carolina's Family at Four, the U.S.